happy 4th of July, everybody. Happy Independence Day from the Irish Zombie Nation. I'm Leo. Thanks for tuning in today. We're doing, for the 4th of July, a bourbon review. We're going to... Whoa. Hello. We're going to be checking out Willet Pot Still Reserve. So thanks for joining me. Let's get this thing started right now. All right. Fireworks are out. Let's get into the bourbon. First of all, look at that bottle. Look how gorgeous that is. The packaging on this is amazing. I'm probably going to keep this bottle just because I dig the design so much. It's got the nice wax Willet emblem on there. Nice tall neck. Reminds you of a pot still. So this bourbon, let me first of all tell you a little bit about the history behind the Willet name. All right. From what I have remembered anyway. Uh, the Willet name has been around since 1841 with uh, John David Willet. He started off with him and three other guys. They started a distillery and eventually... Uh, John Willett, he fell ill, sold off his, uh, his stake in the company, but later on his son decided to pick up his profession. So what he did is he worked for a distilling company for 20 years. I can't remember the name of it, but he worked there for 20 years, eventually decided he wanted to bring the Willett name back. So with him and his sons, they purchased a farm down in Kentucky in the Bardstown area, and they produced the first batch of Willett bourbon. Uh, it was under the name Willet Distilling, I believe, and that was in 1936. Now, he went on to run the company, and then his son went on to run the company, and that lasted up until uh, the 70s, or the early 70s, I should say, uh, right around the time of the uh, energy crisis in the U.S. So they decided to stop distilling whiskey and instead went over and started making ethanol for fuel. Uh, it was a bad choice because, as I'm sure you probably know, the energy crisis did not last. Uh, fuel went back to its lower pricing. Uh, they kept this going as long as they could, and eventually, I think it was around 1980, um, they finally shut the doors and will it was no more. So then fast forward to the more recent future. I don't remember the dates. I'm bad with the dates, sorry. Uh, you can look this stuff up, stuff up though, if you want. But uh, a company came in uh, called uh, Kentucky Bourbon Distilleries, and they bought the Willet name and the, the, the original barrels that they were making the Willet in, and they started producing Willet themselves uh, in single barrel batches. Now, eventually they stopped doing, it used to be you would get on here, let's see where it is. Yeah, it used to be you would have a, you'd have a batch number and a barrel number. Now they just have a batch number because they're no longer doing single barrels, they're just doing batches. They still only use about 12 barrels per batch, but they are no longer doing the single barrel, uh, which probably makes us a little more affordable. Uh, you know, being that uh, I'm sure the single barrel ones were a lot more expensive back in the day. I've only become recently familiar with this. As you can see, I've already cracked it open. I do dig this bourbon quite a bit. Uh, we're looking at this bourbon is 47% alcohol, so that's a 94 proof whiskey. Uh, it's got this nice wood cork on it. It's just an awesome looking. Let me show you that one more time. Look at that bottle. That is just gorgeous. So I've already cracked it open and tasted it. I'm not going to do a review for you guys on whiskey on something I don't like. Um, probably the only time you're going to see a whiskey review on here is something that I do dig. So I got my glass. I'm going to pour a little bit. That's it for now. This is the 4th of July. Getting ready to do some grilling, celebrate our independence here in America. Uh, never forgetting the reason we celebrate that independence. But usually, you know, a lot of people, they want to have hot dogs and beer. I prefer steak and whiskey myself, so that's what we're doing today. And I figure it's uh, about 4 o'clock now. I might as well start with the whiskey. So it's got a very nice light amber color. Smells like whiskey, of course. Uh, I'm not, you know, even though I'm doing these whiskey reviews, you're not going to see a lot of like, oh, it has these this blueberry aftertaste and, you know, all this, like, it weighs heavy on the pet. You're not going to see all that weird stuff for me. I'm just going to tell you whether I think it's something that me, as a blue-collar worker, would go out and spend my hard-earned hard money on, if I can even talk today. Maybe I just need a little bit of this, so let's get to it. Now, as you know, I drink my whiskey neat. I do not use ice. I do not mix it. I will back it with some iced tea every now and then or water or something like that but i'll tell you right now this stuff is fine the way it is now i have heard that it's even better on the rocks but i don't like i don't like cold alcohol in general i prefer room temperature so i do everything neat and this goes down very smooth good stuff so will it burn ah god i cannot talk today i don't know why but 
Ah, it might be that little burn in my throat, but Willet Pot Still Reserve. This is under 40 bucks a bottle, and I highly, highly recommend, if you can find this in your area, pick it up, because this is really good bourbon. So, that's it for me today. I want to thank you for joining me on the 4th of July, taking your time to watch this video, and celebrating our independence with the Irish Zombie Nation and a good bourbon. Steak's on the grill, and i got to get over to those. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you around the fire.